Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we'll talk about the effect of smoking on being infected with Corona. Now a lot of people talked about the effect of smoking in general and the effect that it has on our health and the diseases that it may cause. But today we'll be talking more specifically about how it endangers you to get coronavirus. And we will be talking about smoking in general with all of its forms, including cigarettes, shisha, e-cigarettes, vaping, so on and so forth. So let's jump straight to it. So smoking in general, it affects your immunity. It decreases your immunity. So when you're facing a new virus or a new bacteria, your body will be less capable to confront it. And this is how it does it. So throughout our airways, started from the trachea and the bronchioles, we have these airways lined with something called cilia. Now those cilia are like little tiny hairs that are supposed to push out any foreign object or a body or substance outside of the lungs in order not to harm it. Now when the smoke goes through these airways consistently, as time goes on, your body will trigger an immune response. And there are cells called neutrophils and these neutrophils will start coming and they will trigger more and more leukocytes to follow them in order to get rid of this foreign body, which is the smoke. And over time this will produce more and more mucus that will cover up your airways and it will also affect the function of the cilia. Now, this already triggers some sort of an um, immunocompression in your lungs. And this makes you more and more susceptible to having an acute infection with a virus or a bacteria. So, when the coronavirus comes in, one of its most severe symptoms is the respiratory distress. So it's a type of SARS. SARS is short for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. So it affects your lung. There will be inflammation all over the lungs and you can lose up to 30% of your normal lung capacity. And of course, if you're a smoker, you will be more and more susceptible to have more lung damage. And that's the idea. Now, we are talking about smoking in general. Even e-cigarettes, according to the Center for Tobacco Control Research and Education in San Francisco, some experiments were done on mice that some of them, some of the mice were exposed to e-cigarette smoke and then they were exposed to influenza A or streptococcus pneumonia that causes pneumonia. Those two are two of the most leading causes of pneumonia in humans. And they found out that the mice that were exposed to the e-cigarette smoke were way more susceptible to have the infections other than the other mice that were not exposed to the e-cigarette at all. Also, according to some studies in China uh, about the people who got infected with the coronavirus in the beginning, that the smokers, they had 14 times higher risk in disease progression than people without any smoking history. There were also some studies that correlate between the number of men getting the disease compared to the number of women and relating that to the smoking habits because or the ratio of smokers as in men is way higher than women in Wuhan in China. So according to all of this, we have to take care and stop smoking in all its forms, whether it's cigarettes, shisha, uh, so nargila, or uh, e-cigarettes, vaping, etc., in order not to put our bodies uh, in immunocompression and not to spread the disease, because also passive smoking is a very dangerous issue because the smoke gets in the lungs of other people as well, and not just the smoker, and it will lead to the same result. So we have to protect ourselves in order to limit the spread of the disease and act properly throughout this quarantine period in order to contain the disease and get to um, safety, all of us together. In the end, I wish all the sick to recover soon and for all of you, stay safe and I will see you soon. Thank you for watching.